So guys, now we're going to move to the elbow. We're going to do humeral ulnar distraction. With this, there's a couple different things that you have to be um, conscious of. One is that as you do distraction at the elbow, you're also causing some distraction at the glenohumeral joint. So ensuring that if you have someone that you can yourself stabilize the humerus as you're providing distraction through the forearm, you're going to place one hand on their humerus and you're going to get close to the joint line, get them close to 90 degrees. So it should be between 70 and 90 degrees for open packed position. And you're providing a distal glide or a distraction at the humeral ulnar joint. The progression of that would be if you needed to gain more flexion at the elbow, you might need to use a, both of your hands to cause a scoop and then moving into flexion. We know that it's uh, concave on convex, so you're doing and you're hoping that the slide and glide are occurring in the same direction. So to do that, you are going to provide a scoop so distraction you're scooping as you're actually coming forward into elbow flexion coming back out of that providing a nice firm grip on your patient you can also do it just with your fingers overlaid now providing a scoop and then as you go you're providing um, elbow flexion but you're still maintaining the gap with your hand that is um, closest to where your elbow joint occurs. So just know that as you provide that, you don't want to lessen your tension. You want to keep tension, especially on that bottom hand and scoop as you come into flexion.